All right, what's up? What's up, everybody? This is your boy, That Black Oni, coming to you guys today to talk about something that I know a lot of us either overlook, don't pay attention to, and probably just don't even give a fuck about it. And yeah, I'm just going to say that. The microtransactions, going straight to the point, I'm not going to make this video any longer than what it needs to be. Devil May Cry right now is under siege maybe not even under fire really when it comes to this the new devil may cry that's coming out i'm not gonna lie i'm hyped for it i'm really really hyped for it and i think it's gonna be a great game like no disagreements with it i believe that it's going to be a great game it's gonna have much potential and all of that stuff the one issue i'm having right now is with the whole buying orbs thing and that's not going to deflate me in any way of getting the game, but I have more questions and need answers for them. Like, for instance, I never understood why people, instead of grinding, unless you're just a sucky ass gamer, I'm going to throw it out there, plain and simple as that, that you have to put real money in to get orbs. Or you have to do any of that stuff. Now, mind you, I love the games that have been coming out for 2018 for a real good minute. The simple fact God of War dropped, Spider-Man dropped, and I didn't see microtransactions in those. I didn't see where I had to spend money to actually pay for something to become more OP or kill the experience of a game to me. I, that's, I think... That's the problem with me. I'm too old school for these motherfucking games. Now, mind you, I play a shit ton of games, mobile games. I play fucking console games. I play PC games. I'm well-rounded when it comes to video games. I've been playing video games literally my whole life. And I just think it's funny as hell to see something like this. Now... People can argue, well, it's an option. I understand that. But to me, it kills the experience of what you're going for when you're playing this game. You're playing it for the experience. Am I right? So what's the real purpose of you having to put down actual cash for just to buy orbs? Why not grind? That's the whole part of this experience of gameplay anyway. Like, I don't mind someone just giving me reasons and stuff like that because i will respond to them no problem but i have an issue when this is kind of being the same thing i understand that uh developers need to make their money i understand that they have a huge team who makes this game and you know that's also the same thing that's going on when it comes down to this as well but i have an issue when <clears throat> you're killing the whole entire experience for your what you're building up i can get weapons for, i can make the game easier if as long as my wallet is thick as long as i can be like here take my money everything is good and to me that's really really dumb it's really fucked up like i'm it's really it just it's fucked up i have some down like microtransactions throughout my history that I've dealt with. Like I said, for instance, when it comes to fucking Dead Space, you know, earliest microtransactions that I've actually seen. I've also had to write down them where you have to pay in my uh Dead Space 3 paying to upgrade your weapons to make them more powerful. Out of pocket, you're paying to make weapons more powerful what type of dumb shit is that like because you taking an l and mind you this is not like online co-op or anything like that this is not for like cool new skins to you know make the character more personal to you it's literally you upgrading your weapons to become more op because you suck at playing a game like that's fucking funny Metal Gear Solid 5. Mind you, I, I'm going to be real with everybody. 
I fucking love Metal Gear Solid 5. I have no problem with Metal Gear Solid 5. The only issue I had, and I played the game so much, and never, anytime I saw trans microtransactions for this game, I kind of overlooked them. But I did my research when it came down to this. You can buy fucking base insurance. Or uh, the better word, F or uh, FOP. I could say, be saying that wrong. But that is a FOP insurance for the game. Base bots for the game. For when you're playing online and you build up your base, you, you're more powerful, you're hitting up somebody else's base. But oh shit, wait, they're hitting my base now. But my base isn't the best base. So you pay for bots and insurance to cover your people that you lost and the damage that was done to your place? Really? Like, really, though? Like, to me, shit like that, shit like this is hilarious. Something that you won't be able to go back on experience a couple few years from now. And... I understand folks do it because it's, it's competitive at the time. I know people do it in Call of Duty and all that shit. I understand that. I under, it just, it's just sad. Go through my list. Assassin's Creed Unity. Buying weapons from the beginning of a game. Uh, buying weapons from the end of a game at the very beginning. It just, it, it just shows that you suck. This, that, would be, that would be something that I would even brag about. I'm going to keep all of this shit in. Like stuff I'm like just stuttering. Like what? Because it's what the fucks to me. And I never understand the reason why. You guys. Like not even you guys. But that select few. Who literally spend all of this money. On dumb shit. I could talk about 2K. And how. That shit is dumb. You spending real life currency to make a, a player better, but when the next year game come out, you're already on that one. Cause they're gonna come out with another game the reoccurring the next year, right after that one. Always it's always a year ahead. But you're gonna buy that game and you're gonna update this character. You're gonna make him look pro. Give him all the stats. Just so you can do the same shit again. I never I never will understand it. And once again, leave a comment down below for me. Because I don't fucking understand. Evolution. We all know that shit's dead. They had day one microtransactions for this game. That made no sense. Didn't even come with the season pass. Mind you, there was a season pass. $24 season pass. And what was just trippy about the whole damn thing was the simple fact that you had microtransactions in the game that would cost over $120 if you bought everything. That's plus, that's not even counting the game. That's not even counting the season pass. That's literally all of the stuff that was not covered in the season pass. Shit, let's just keep going on. For honor, you paying for upgrades in there. You had to really grind. They said for you to legitly max out your character, like to truly max out your character and get all your stats up to par, where you're literally like the most OP character in the game. Where, cause you, okay, let's just be real about for honor. For honor is all about your tactics, all about your skills, how you move in that game. If you're not quick enough when it comes to dodging, you're going to take hits. If you're not quick enough with maneuvering around and executing the move, you're fucked. It's just that simple. So it was researched and, and I already said that it would take up to a thousand hours. That's a long ass time. <laughs> oh, no, not that was it a thousand hours or either it was a thousand hours or it was like. 10,000. I'm, I'm, I have to do an update or something on that for that one. If you guys want to, just for me to correct myself. Tanks. World of Tanks. People bought skins in this game. Mind you. Bought skins. Bought new tanks. I have no issue when you're buying something to customize 
your character for experience. I know I just bust out and actually got on <sighs> fucking um, NBA 2K, whatever year it might be when the next one pops up, and which will be probably next year. But st still, you know, like, I just think it's crazy that you buy this stuff and then you it's, it's gone. Like, you don't use it ever again. Like, f you know, next year. I can understand Call of Duty and stuff like that where you buy customizations for weapons and stuff like that to show that your that's your character. I understand that. I have no problem with that. I like, but when you're buying this stuff and then it's just like you have to pay for upgrading your stats, just a cheap way out. That's what I had a problem with when it came to the 2K series, like or franchise of 2K. That's what I have a problem with. It's not 2K itself with buying all the clothes and stuff. If that's what you want to do, do that. That's the better your experience. What I had an issue with on that, just to correct everything, was the simple fact that you're, you know, people buy, you know, buy to build up their stats better in that game. And to me, that's that's stupid. Uh, let's see. Let me go to. Like I said, World of Tanks, you buy your skins, customizing um, your tanks, you're buying new tanks, and you thinking that you really own everything, and what you end up finding out is you're renting this stuff. You, you thought you bought it, but really you were renting this for a certain amount of time, so now you like completely fucked yourself over thinking, damn, where, where did my tank go after two or three months? Your tank's gone. It's just, it's funny. Middle Earth, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know I'm talking about the fucking Lords of the Ring series and all of that good stuff. I have an issue once again where it takes away from the gaming experience where you're buying armor and orbs like for to build your orc ar uh, army and stuff like that. I have issues with it. I have issues with you pretty much killing the game for yourself, buying all this shit, and then just i'm talking about this is not like online mode or nothing this is like literally single player type type stuff destiny same thing is being done i uh, you have either you grind or you buy upgrades and weapons and stuff like that to become more op but it's a huge majority of people who are okay with this don't have a problem with it that's fine and dandy if you don't but I just feel like it's a waste of time and money that you could be either saving up for another game. Maybe you got money like that. I'm not sure. It's, that's not my problem. I don't care about your personal life when it comes to that type of thing. But I have an issue when you're playing competitively and you have to cheat. Call of Duty, uh, not Call of Duty, but Halo did the same thing. This was a while back. They had to hold the, buy Doritos, buy Mountain Dew, and put the code in. Make your character more stronger. Y'all, some of y'all people know exactly what I'm talking about. A lot of you people are like, what is this guy, you know, complaining about? I'm talking about when it comes to microtransactions and what's starting to become a problem or issue with it. Once again, I understand that a lot of these companies and the like the producers or the people who are, you know, pushing the game out, directing it out its way. So, you know, they can make that money off of you guys and become successful because they do need your money. I understand that. It's not just you buying the game these days. It's you having to spend your money, spend more money inside a game. But I call bullshit on that. I call bullshit on that for so many reasons just because of the simple fact that God of War hasn't done that. You haven't had Spider-Man do that. You literally buy the game. The people who made Detroit didn't have to do that. You buy the game. That's all that matters. You buy the game. You have that experience. If you want to worry about buying content or, you know, DLC for the game, extra stories and stuff like that, like Red Dead uh, Revolver did, or not Red, yeah, Red Dead Revolver and all that stuff. If you want to buy extra content for a game, I understand if it's like almost near them a whole new game or an extra side scroll to a game i have no issues with that i have issues where you're buying stuff because either you know people who play these games they suck and they have to buy it and you still suck at the end of the day like what's the purpose get good at the game 
It makes it a better and fun experience if you can play the game. I've died so many times in so many different types of games that I could not make a list right now straight off the top of my dome of how many fucking games that I've took L's in but hop back on the saddle and actually continue to play these goddamn games. Like, it's, it's just stupid. All right, I'm 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 like literally fucking 15 minutes in. So what I'm going to just end off with is I think that the microtransaction for Devil May Cry, even though it is optional, I think that if you take the option to continue and buying orbs and stuff like that, you're going to milk yourself out. I believe that if you allow a company to do this to you, you taking an L. You know, don't show your boys that you buying all these goddamn orbs. Because if I ever find out anybody's buying orbs or anything like that on YouTube, I'm roasting the fuck out of you. It's just that simple. And if you know somebody who's doing it, send this shit, bring that shit my way. Just bring that shit my way. This is your motherfucking boy that black on is signing out in three, two, one.